Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fish in the West. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of a Tag of Warehouse order I got for my next tournament down in Mill Creek. It's a two day tournament, but it's uh, three separate tournaments. One in the morning on the 6th, one in the afternoon on the 6th, and then one in the morning on the 7th. We depart on the 7th. Um, just got back in from Fishing with Dan, so I'm uh, going to be showing you a few cool uh, things that I got. Um, I already opened the package. Uh, I don't usually do this, but a lot of people are requesting for me to do this. Uh, first one we got is the Jackal Lake Police Sasateki Cross. It's the 4 inch size, not the 5 inch. Uh, one of my favorite Japanese colors, it's a watermelon swirl. Um, absolutely awesome color. You know, this is a Japanese custom color only, so if you need to get this, um, if you're going to be flipping and stuff like that, this is one of my favorite colors for the Jackal Flick Shake. And uh, I'm going to try it out with the Sasateki Cross. Up next, I got a live target uh, Gizzard Shed. This is something I've never tried before. Um, it's a deep diving crankbait that looks just like a gizzard shad. Um, and there's a lot of really deep areas in uh, Mill Creek where there's shad running. And uh, should be a really awesome, awesome bait for those largemouth down there. Fish on the ledges, the channels, break lines along those weeds and stuff like that. Uh, up next we've got the 4-inch uh, Alive Shad and Hologram Shad right there. Very awesome color. I absolutely love drop shot fishing. Uh, and this is like a shad imitation drop shot bait. So uh, I'm really, really psyched about fishing this, especially down in Mill Creek if the, the bite is tough. I can put this on a drop shot and imitate those small shad kind of suspending. Next color is the FX straight tail, uh, four and a half inch. Again, I love the drop shot baits. I'm a big drop shot guy, big finesse guy. Love finesse fishing. And uh, this is in a sexy shad color. One of my favorite colors that uh, the FX, the rubber one uh, makes in the FX series. Um, Next we've got the uh, famous Jackal Flick Shake. This is the watermelon green swirl. So it's kind of similar to the uh, watermelon swirl uh, in the Lake Police color, but uh, this one has a little bit more uh, shimmer to it, which kind of imitates basically a worm, but also can be perceived as a uh, dying bait fish to some of those large mouth. Got three packs of Kamigatsu uh, worms, worm hooks. Um, got the uh, 3 out EWG uh, offset shank uh, worm hook, uh, and this is a 5 out for like Carolina rig and stuff like that, and I got the 2 out too, the EWG 2 out. More flick shakes right here, we got the uh, 8.4 size, and this is in a cinnamon uh, solid color, and I absolutely love this, it's one of my favorite colors for uh, the fall season, springtime when it's tough, I just got those in case the bite is tough. Anytime you're fishing on the uh, uh, on a tournament, you need to have a backup plan, and that's that's one of my biggest backup plans. Now up next, we've got uh, a flipping bait right here. I'm really psyched about using these. I've used them once before out on uh, Lake I was fishing with my friend, but this is in a different color. I haven't tried yet. This is in the uh, this is the big bite baits um, war mouth, and this is like in a shad. What's the specific name? It's just the SS shad uh, right there. Again, no creek, tons of shad there. So I really, really need to use this uh, just in case I'm flipping in deep water. And then I also got the uh, another pack of these, and this is in the War Party color. If I want to flip into those shallower mats down in Mill Creek, I've seen a lot of big bass chase those uh, those bluegill war mounts, stuff like that, in those mats, and uh, really good baits. Unfortunately, it's only four to a pack, so it's kind of a downer, but I really do like those. Uh, another terminal tackle right here, this is the inch wackies, one of my favorite. The Zappy inch wackies are literally my favorite uh, flick shake uh, Jake has to use, the 3, uh, 32 ounce um, inch wacky right there. Great for using those, using with the uh, jackal flick shakes. Up next we've got a KVD, um, this is an extra deep diving crankbait. This uh, dives to 14 feet in a shad pattern, mainly because, again, lots of shad down in Mill Creek, so I'm going to be needing this crankbait a lot. Uh, big fish will be in 15 foot, 15 feet uh, depth ranges in um, in Mill Creek, and uh, usually in 40 to 20 foot uh, depth. And they'll be kind of suspended right in the middle of the water. Uh, another Strike King deep diving crankbait is the Silent series, though. So a little bit something different, you know, giving those fish a little bit something uh, you know diverse. Uh, I'm sure they've heard a lot of rattles down there, and I've heard the uh, Silent ones, so I got that for a backup. I really am a big believer in the sound, so I got the silent and the one with the rattling too. Uh, next, another one of my all-time favorite topwater baits, and it's a snag-proof uh, weed demon. And these baits are great. I did amazing uh, with these last year at the state qualifier, and uh, same exact color. I absolutely love these things. 
It's a weedless bait, but it walks a dog, so it's just, it's so effective. Fish on the edge of the weeds, and you can fish that right in the weeds as well. Uh, some more terminal tackle. I got some 4 at I forgot to add that in with those other hooks, but that's uh, the 4 at EWG uh, Gamagasu hooks, and I got some uh, size 2 drop shot hooks right here, um, 6 in a pack. They're pretty thin wire hooks, but uh, this should work pretty good. I was kind of hoping to get a bigger one, but I got the wrong size. Um, actually, I think they ran out, so uh, these will still work good. Um, and, uh, looking forward to using those. I uh, got some more um, Royal Worm FX colors. This is the straight inch, or this, yeah, straight tail, uh, six inch size right there for uh, shaky head fishing. And also fish on a bigger drop shot rig. A lot of guys won't go any higher than four inch, four and a half inch when they're drop shotting. I love throwing the bigger worms on the drop shot, and the six inch is perfect, absolutely perfect if you want to go for some of those uh, bigger bites and stuff like that. Uh, up next, we've got some 10 inch power worms. For uh, Carolina rigging, this is in a, just a plain old watermelon color, traditional color. Uh, power worms are amazing, especially the 10 inch size. Got another 10 inch pack of uh, power worms right here. This is in a plum color. I also love the plum color because it's a lot like a June bug um, or something like a purple. Very sick, awesome, awesome lure right there for Carolina rigging. Um, right here we've got the uh, power bait. Uh, what is this? The power jerk shad. It's a 5 inch. Um, down in Mill Creek, a lot of those shad will get pushed back in the uh, coves and cuts like that and in really shallow water, so you want to be throwing a, a realistic jerk bait because it can be pretty clear in those cuts and stuff like that. So uh, I'm really psyched about using this too. It worked really good for the, for the co-angler that was on my boat last year. I got some Tungsten uh, Vike uh, flipping weights, two full ounce flipping weights for $10. That's a pretty good price, honestly, uh, for those of you guys who buy Tungsten. This is my... Um, I'm, I'm, Fairly new with tungsten. I've used the one fourth ounce. Those are awesome, but I need some flipping weights, and this is this should do the job. So really, really sick. And uh, lastly, right there, it's empty box right there. We've got the Kevin Kevin Van Dam. Almost said Kevin Van Dam. Uh, KVD sound crankbait. This is the 2.5 though. Uh, something I haven't tried. A lot of guys don't fish the 2.5. It's an awesome bait. Uh, a lot of guys just stick with a 1.5. But the bigger the bait, I personally think. Uh, more chance you have of hooking up uh, to some bigger fish, honestly. And this is in the shed color as well. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Fishing the Midwest.